Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel CapTech Pro. In this video, we'll see how we can create a multilingual pages and news. So friends, let's go to our lab environment and let's see how we can do that. Okay friends, so now we are on our SharePoint Admin Center and I have created one site with the name of uh, multilingual. Let me open the site in a new tab. And this site I have created to demonstrate the issue of creating a multilingual pages and news so guys before we proceed let me tell you why we need to create a multilingual you know the pages and news if your organization spans a diverse population and you want to make a content in your internet site available for more than one language then we create the pages and news in multilingual language we can also provide pages and news posted on sharepoint sites to be translated that are shown user on their preferred language basis. So guys to create a pages on sites in different languages, uh, we can use a translation feature to make the copies of the pages created in default language and the copies can be manually translated. So published translation pages are automatically shown in the appropriate site language site, including the news and the highlighted content web parts for each language. So there are few points which we you know need to keep in mind, like the pages are not translated automatically each page created in the default language so we can have a corresponding page in a chosen target language that us or someone you assign and they can manually translate so after you will you know translate such a pages and publish it it will be automatically displayed to the user who prefer that language the changes on the original source page or the other translated page are not you know automatically synced and this happens with the, all the translation pages each translation pages must be updated manually and the language which will be you know displayed to the user will depends on their personal language and the regional settings so friends now let's start demonstrating our you know today's video which is about uh, translating the page into multilingual language so i will go to site contents and here i will go to site pages and by default we have one you know home page which is created on the site i will click on new i will click on site page just because uh, and my default language is set to English. Now I will give it a name English. All right. If you want to add any image, you can add. Let me, you know, randomly just add one image over here. Okay. We'll choose this image and I will simply just insert it. Okay. I will click on publish. So I will not post it as a news. I will keep it as a page. If you want, you can post this news. Now here you can see we are not getting any option to, you know, translate this page. And if I'll go to site contents under pages library, you will see the pages created. But if you will select it, you will not see any option to, you know, translate this page. So in order to enable the multilingual feature, you just simply need to go to the site contents. And here we'll go to site settings. Now under site administration, we have language settings. So we'll just click on it. So here you will get an option of site languages. So the default language for this site is English because I have created the site in English and enable the translation into multiple language will allow translation to the sites, navigation, footer page and news. So we just simply need to, you know, toggle it on and it will enable the translation into multiple languages. So from here we can add or remove site languages. So this is the English, which is my default. Now I will click on the drop down menu. I will select the language Hungarian and you can select a type of a translator like you, you can assign someone who can, you know, translate this page. So I will assign myself over here. All right. You can assign other users as well. Now select a type of another language. So I will, you know, select one more language, which is German. All right. And here as well, I will assign myself. Okay, now you will click on show advanced settings will not go into this. It is just a simply override translation settings and I will just save this settings. All right. After saving the settings, you know, now I will go back again to my pages library. All right. This was the page which we, you know, created. Now I will just simply open this page. And now you can see after enabling the multilingual language, you will see the option of translation. So I will just, you know, simply just create on this translation 
and as you know we have selected two languages hungarian and germany you will see like this page is published in english and there are two language for them it's not yet started yet the translation so to create the page in hungarian and the german you just simply need to click on create all right so you will get a option draft saved a few seconds ago so now i will you can go to the hungarian language page from here or else you can just simply close it if i will go to you know the pages library you will see here one folder is created with the name of hu okay so which means this is a translate translated page of into hungarian if i will open this you will see one more page is created and this page is not published yet let me open this page all right and it will here you will see it's in draft it's not published yet so now let me go to the google translation and let me just you know type it and translate it to hungarian i will type okay so english news so this is the hungarian translation of you know these two words i will just simply copy it i will go to my translation page let me edit this page and you know i will just simply paste the you know the translated word over here if you want to add a news web part you can edit so i will add one news web part i will you know translate what we call in news news is translated into this word i will copy it once again i will go back and let me just you know paste it now i will click on publish now here from here you can see it's the pages in the hungarian and if i will go to english this page is this page has a default language of english and you can see the we have added the news web part on the hungarian language and it's not reflecting over there so as i have already informed you changes to the original source page or to um, you know the other translation pages are not automatically synced with with all the translation pages so each translation page must be updated manually so the user who will have you know the personal language or the regional settings set it to hungarian can you know modify this page in his or her own language you know in the number of languages you will translate the the page it will you know create inside a folder like we only translated this page into hungarian if we would have you know translated it to other language as well so one more folder will be created and you can only translate the page from the default page only so from here if i'll go to translation i can create a german translation of this page as well so now again if i will go to my pages library as i have already informed you you know one more folder will be created so you can see we translated it to german one more folder is created and inside this we have you know the translation page into german so friends that's how you know we create a multilingual sharepoint pages and news that's conclude our video demonstration for more informative videos you can check my other video links on the screen and subscribe my channel and press bell icon for more upcoming videos i will see you guys in next video